Good evening. Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Can you hear me? Yes, yes Miss, I can yes. hear you. Okay, perfect. So thank you very much for that punctuality and thank you very much for being here in the class. As you know, today we are starting the last week of this um of this module, right? So it will be the last week of a beginner number five, if I'm if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, right? Wow, got it! Look at that hair, wonderful. You barely look sick. <laughs> I'm sick. It's because today I took a shower. <laughs> it took a shower. You, it looks like the iron was on your hair. Uh, yes. <laughs> you, did you iron your hair? No. Is that way naturally? Yes. Wow. Uh, Amazing. But uh, always I, I, siempre lo ando amarrado. No sé cómo okay. You, I always have a ponytail. Uh, okay. I always have a ponytail. Yes. Okay, okay. Now we can see your, your hair. My hair is kind of curly. I don't know if you can see it. But it's yes. curly. It's curly. I don't I don't I don't like it to be like uh down because if I have it down I feel really hot. Like the what okay, anyways, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much to the ones that are just connecting to the class. We're gonna continue as I was saying before. This is the last week of uh, the module, the curse, right? We're about to start with that in, um, okay, um, I hope that you're working on the platform and I hope that you have finished the platform because Friday is the last day we have to fix everything in the platform. As you know, we need to go, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, as you know, we need to finish by Friday and then on Monday, we're going to have a survey, right? Ya saben, esa misma survey que se hace siempre. So we're going to get here to the attendance now so we can start with today's class, okay? Thank you to the people that have the cameras on. You know, that is a requirement. Adán Antonio Ramirez Aguirre. Carlos, Present. Carlos Amilca del Campos, Valencia. Present. Yeah. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Ed Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Present. Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. Present, Miss. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present, Miss. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Verganza. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Salvador Present, Miss. Fernando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. 
Present Miss Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present Miss. Okay, excellent. I don't know. I, I have a lot of students who haven't connected to the class. Let me send a message. send them a message okay remember you guys if you're gonna connect as a listener you have always um you need to tell me what is the reason so i know what is the reason behind that right because we need to be there on the same page on the same level like knowing what we are doing because um, being a listener is like asking for permission right so you have to tell what is the reason you're asking for permission okay so <laughs> Before we start with today's class, which is the section number four, we're gonna do a review of the section three, okay? Let's see the answers here. So we are here in section number three, and of course we have five homeworks, one, uh, one homework per day, and we're gonna review them all today. The instruction says, select the best choice to get the right meaning. So small or an important problem, this is vocabulary. So what is a small or an important problem? A minor fault. Minor. Minor. Fault. minor. minor. Fault. Excellent. Thank you very much. Make the chat down the chat down longer. Extend the chat. Extend the chat. Extend the chat. Check it. Have a look at it. Have a look at it. A period of two weeks. A fortnight. A fortnight. A fortnight. Do something faster. Let's speed things up. Let's speed things up. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. So you have that vocabulary there already. Number 12. Or the homework number two of the set. Okay. The week number three. Write affirmative and negative sentences using the prompts, so meaning these letters. Remember to use present perfect, the one that we have been studying. We have been studying, that's present perfect. Mario, what is the present perfect for Mario? Has. Mario has. has changed. And I have changed. Changed. Changed the fabric. And I told you, what is the meaning of fabric? I told you that exactly. The production has or have? Has. Has, but because it's negative, hasn't. Stopped, double P, right? Stopped. Or team has or have? Has. has. Fixed. Fixed. The Facebook message. Facebook message? What? Sorry. Jen not flogged the course. Hasn't, right? Hasn't flog the words. The secretary Lord. has or have? Has. Has, or has. 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 And what is the Made. past participle of make? Made. Made. made, right? The secretary has made enough copies of the report. I put a period at the end of each sentence. I don't know if that's going to be correct. Me, I think that the number four. Mm -hmm. Is unplugged. Unplugged. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the UN unplugged. Thank you. Oh, what is the problem now? Jen hasn't unplugged 
Apple Courts. Es que no hay que ponerlo contractado para que lo agarre bien. Hay que poner el has not. In this one, really? Okay, let's see. No, it's not working. Ah, igual. <laughs> let, me, let me do something. Let me do something really quick. Has not unplugged the cords. What is my mistake then? Falta el punto, creo. No, si tiene el punto aquí, no. Wait a minute. But anyways. Yeah, okay, that's better. Okay, uh, what? Production has not as well? Doesn't go with abbreviations? Has not? Yes, has not. Oh, okay, excellent, thank you. Okay, let's go with the next part. Oh, this is about idioms, okay. Huh, let's see. What do you think is a dime a dozen? Don't give up, good luck, something common. Avoid saying uh, what you mean. Stop working on something. Something, something common. common. Something common. Beat around the bush. Uncomfortable. Avoid saying what you mean, surely because it's uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, yeah. Break a leg. Good, good luck. luck. Good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, good so luck. break a leg is mostly used in like theaters. But yeah, it's pretty common to say break a leg to wish good luck. Call it a day. Stop working on something. Stop working on something. Hang in there. Don't give up. Don't give up. Excellent. Good job. Let's go to the next part. This workshop is very dirty. Let's, oh, this is phrasal verbs. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up this. Clean up. Remember to the power before you remove the machine. Remember Turn to. Turn up. Turn up. Switch, switch off. off. Switch off. I hope the computer won't. Turn off. Turn off again. If you don't lubricate these type, types of machines regularly, they will seize up. Seize up. Seize up. So. The printer just stopped working. We need to call up, call up. Call up. Call up a technician. No. Okay. And let's go with the final one. Okay, idioms again. <laughs> hit the sack. What do you think is hit the sack? Go to sleep. Exactly, like in Spanish, you like, how do you say in Spanish that? I don't know how to say that. Okay, uh, it's not rocket science. It's not complicated. Exactly. Let someone off the hook. To not hold someone responsible for something. Exactly. Make a long story short. Have something briefly. Briefly, miss the boat. It's too late. Like too in late. Spanish, we say, dejar el tren, right? Yeah. Ya me debo. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Para dónde iba, Jorge? Tal vez todavía sacan rutas a esta hora. Lo dudo, ¿verdad? Porque es bien noche. Yo hago viaje. Yo hago viaje. <laughs> <laughs> no me ofreciendo sus servicios. <laughs> no problem. Oh my goodness. Okay. Modo, modo Uber on. Modo yes. what? Modo Uber on. Uber yeah, on. after after the class. You're in Uber, right? Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? I'm a mechanic, I'm Uber, um, everything. <laughs> you are a todologo. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that's good. That's good. That's how I we like make money. It. Yeah, me too. Believe me, that's yeah. why I'm working this late. <laughs> yeah. Because I was born poor, but with rich taste. Let's go with the first Teacher, question. Teacher, how to say contagiar? Contagious? Or like what? Yesterday you contagied me. <laughs> Yesterday I made you sick? I incapacitated. 
Oh, really? Yes. You know what? I'm feeling way better today because my thing is an infection in the throat. So it is very difficult, but yeah. <laughs> okay. I hope yeah, I have a um, I have a problem with my let me see, I don't know. Actually I have never uh how to say that in English. Amygdala. Amygdala, yeah. So it's an amygdala infection, my thing. And today, but today actually I have spent all my day sleeping. Because the pills they make me uh sleepy. So yeah, I have spent mostly sleeping all day long, which is good because I'm not working. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better too, Jorge. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Let's go with the first question of this section number four, which is the last section. We're about to finish. Yes. And the first question says, can you please read it, please, Daniel? Do you know the policies at your workplace? Excellent. Thank you, Daniel. Do you know the policies at your workplace? And do you guys know what is a policy? Rules in no. at workplace? Yeah. Normat normative work. Exactly. They are things that guide you on how to behave in a company, right? So, uh, can you please read the question number two, Noe Perez? What are some of them? Excellent, Noe, thank you very much. So yes, so we're gonna discuss. Do you know the policies at your workplace? Yes, I know mine. What are some of them? In my workplace, for example, this workplace, I have to speak in English. That is a policy, right? I have to speak in English not use the Spanish, maybe just like a 10% of the time, but mostly I had to speak in English. Another policy is to connect on time, right? The another policy is to be there to help my students and to apply what it is in the manual that I'm assigned to, right? So those are some of my policies. Now we're gonna talk about yours. What are some of the policies in the places where you work at, okay? They might be different depending on what you do, right? Let me send you the screenshot. Oh, I have a message. I'm gonna look into that now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the question. This is here, what do you mean? Okay, Noe, I read your message. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, there we have the question. This is a conversational activity. So please try to speak as much as you can because that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, let's go.
Miss, I have that. a question. Yeah, tell me. How do you say eh, eh, una política es, es como obligatorio estar en los eventos de la empresa? It's mandatory to It's be present. Mandatory, 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 mm -hmm, present. present in the company's event. To be present company. Event. 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 Or, bueno, yeah, 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 yeah. Spelling is or celebration. Celebration no. also. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Mm -hmm. Remember that when we go to the breaker rooms, it's for us to practice, right? That's the opportunity we have there to practice. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask some students the same question that we were practicing in the breaker rooms. Let me see, because there are some students in the breaker rooms still. Okay, <clears throat> so once again, I was saying, remember, every time we go to a breaker room, is to practice because when we are here, I have the chance to speak a lot. It's me, I am the one speaking, right? So when you go to the breaker rooms, try to speak as much as you can because that is your opportunity, right? Your opportunity to share and to practice your um, speaking skills and book your vocabulary skills. So I'm gonna ask some students, what are um, some policies they have in their workplaces, okay? <clears throat> Let's hear it first from Marvin Arguello. Okay, Marvin, what are some policies in your company? Well, in my workplace, uh, we have uh, risk management policies and anti money laundering policies, internal work regulations. Um, human resources, no sé cómo se dice. Human resources. Uh, mm -hmm, policies, human resources policies, and credit regulations too. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Marvin. <coughs> Let's choose another participant. Edgar Edilson, mm -hmm. what are some policies in your workplace, Edgar? <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so Noe Perez, uh, you want to participate? Example, in my workplace, there, are, let me see the question is, in a second. No, uh, you tell me the example. Ah, okay, okay. Keep the workshop clean. Um, about avoid risk of sleeping sleep sleeping del como deslizarse rebalarse oh okay okay sleeping um let me see another one communicate any incidents or question That's it. okay excellent thank you Noe for your participation Thanks. I'm curious about to know like Karen's policies workplace because she mm -hmm. works in the in the in the in the in the customs, right? So Karen, what are some policies in your company? Yes. <clears throat> um in my company. I don't know the 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 policies. The yes, I don't know, but I I try to to tell some that I I remember. 
Okay. So, uh, it's like a rule. The first, uh, we need to be arrived on time. Uh, we need to to provide the the good customer service because we we work with a lot of customers. Uh, in some cases, if if we say in the don't la don't launder of the cars, we need to use the equipment, the safe equipment, uh, like a helmet. Uh, I don't know how do you say chaleco. Best. Best and boots and another. Um, don't need. <laughs> In 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 working hours, in, hours, yes, in working hours, and um, I don't remember, but that's it. Yes, that's okay. it. Thank you, Karen, for your participation. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of coughing people here. Yeah, okay, that's like a song today. <laughs> okay, let's go here with a conversation where we have should and shouldn't. You know the meaning of that is like auxiliary verbs or modal verbs to. So, talk about um, like advices, right? Like giving advices, that's what it is. <clears throat> Let me uh, read the conversation first for pronunciation. If you have any questions, you can ask me at the end of the conversation um, or meanings, right? Like pronunciations or meanings. Listen, <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to cough. <laughs> Give me a second. <clears throat> Give me a second. Okay. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Okay. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Okay. <laughs> Max and Max? No. <laughs> this is Bruno. This should be Bruno, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just delete the name. It doesn't make sense. Okay, like that. How are you? Yeah, that's better. Hey, Max, look, I want to, uh, wait a second. <clears throat> hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you? Well, there are many policies in my company. <clears throat> For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you received a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work, too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay. You want me to repeat in a specific pronunciation or tell you the meaning of some words? <clears throat> I'm going to read it one more time, okay? Just for you to like identify if you have questions. <clears throat> hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Questions? Question or questions? Okay, if you have no questions about meanings or pronunciations, I'm gonna send you the audio, okay? 
<clears throat> hey Max, look. Wait a minute. Hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors? If you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. <clears throat> no questions, right? Something wrong, miss. Something wrong, something and... wrong. Okay. And the other is drums. What is it? Drugs. Pronunciation drums. No, what 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 is it like? In que parte? I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drums. Drugs. Drugs. Okay. Drugs. <laughs> Okay. Okay. If you have no more questions, then we should go and practice this activity in the workplace, right? <clears throat> Let's see. I just don't have to send them <laughs> the list and the rest of the same room. Remember, you guys, when you have the chance to go to the breakout rooms, that means that you have to speak, okay? You have to speak and participate.
at my work is the use of drop. Nobody should do drop. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. <laughs> okay. Uh, I start. Be shame, yes. Hey Max, look, I want to know what police you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, you shouldn't. I think so too. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, está viendo partido. <laughs> the series, series on Netflix. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. ¿Quién va ganando? Gran adrenalina que se escucha ahí. <laughs> You should. I see another policy we have as uh, my word is the use of drugs. We <coughs> should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. <coughs> so too. Okay, thank you. Someone
Hello. Okay, so we're Hello. gonna practice the conversation here. And let's see, we're gonna have uh, <clears throat> Gabriela and Daniel Enrique. Okay, Gabriela, you start. Okay. Okay, Miss. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you not notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work. In my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, thank good you. job, excellent, thank you. thank you, thank you. Let's just, um, so no, just a few mistakes, I'm sorry. Example, example, something, something. something. Okay, it's not something, 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 something. And here, lo dijo bien, pero lo dijo separado. Sería mejor que digamos, do it. Do it. Do it, okay, do it. Okay, let's go with some two, some other participants. Jose Ernesto Alemán. And Sergio Adolfo. Jose, you start. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policy you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, are you children? Be late if you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you do. Yes, you should. I see. Another police policy we had at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We all have that policy in my world too. You children do it. I think so too. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let's do just some student. It's, it's in this thing we don't say the letter L, okay? You say like sh student, student. The letter L is mute. Receive, receive. Also, also do it do it okay but thank you very much let's go with some other participants we're gonna have aníbal lópez and miguel cortez aníbal you start uh, hey max uh, look i want to know what policy you have in your company how are you max well there are many police in my company for example Employees shouldn't wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't and be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. Mm -hmm. I see another policy we have at my work. Is the use of drugs nobody should do drugs? We also have have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Excellent, good job. Let's do just some corrections. Policies, example, right? No example, example, example. Short example. For example, okay. Excellent, good job. Okay, now let's do the next activity. And the next activity is this. Look at this. We have two questions down here. And we have to answer the questions 
based on the conversation, okay? Now, I'm gonna do like less breaker rooms because in the last part, there were some students that were not participating. I don't know why, but we're gonna do less breaker rooms. So we can avoid that. Okay, let's go and answer the questions. I'm gonna send you the questions to the WhatsApp chat.
Smith. Smith. Miss
Okay, let's see what so are some of the answers, okay? So the first question says, what are some policies at Max's company, okay? So let me see the answer, please. Anibal, uh, the answer to number one, please. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> but we were doing that in the break rooms. <laughs> no? Um, the word uniform. I don't remember. Okay, where? A uniform. Okay. Employees choose wear a uniform. <laughs> okay, exactly. <laughs> What else? Um, and nobody should do drugs. Okay, so don't do drugs. What else? Don't be late. Exactly, so wear a uniform. Should notify, should notify any do drugs. Okay, so don't be late. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Let's go here. Okay. Wait a minute. Don't be late. Okay. Next one. What should a worker do if she, I mean, if he or she makes a mistake? Sergio? He and she. Receive a warning. Receive a warning, okay. Or not notify your superior. Excellent, that too. And notify the superiors. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. So those are the answers to those questions. Now let's continue here with, let me see. Okay, so here they are talking about should and shouldn't. Okay, as you know, shouldn't, shouldn't, they are used to give advice, right? To talk about advices. So it is not an obligation, but it's a recommendation that you're telling a person they should or shouldn't do. The important thing is that it doesn't matter if uh, it is the third person, the same verb, we use the same adverb or the same auxiliary should or shouldn't, okay? It doesn't matter the subject, so we're gonna use should if it is an affirmative or shouldn't if it is a negative, okay? Then we're gonna use the verb and it doesn't matter because we're gonna use the verb always in the base form, okay? Always in the base form. And then you're gonna add a complement, okay? So for example, I wanna say you should, oh, sorry. <laughs> You should practice more English. Next one. She shouldn't and notify not is it's the same thing. Shouldn't, she shouldn't speak Spanish in the class. They should work in the platform okay we should i don't know read books in english okay so these are just some advices that i'm telling you on about how to learn english right and if you can see we are doing the same thing we have subject 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 should or shouldn't should shouldn't shouldn't i mean should should the plus the verb, the verb in the base form. So don't add anything else, just the verb in the base form. Practice, speak, work, read. And then a compliment, okay? Like this compliments here. Questions about this. I think this is a pretty easy topic, is uh, something really easy to do, but I don't know if you have questions about it. Do you have questions about it? No? Everything is clear like the chat. <laughs> okay, excellent. So what I want you to do right now, you're going to give me 10 advices on how to learn English, okay? 10 advices using should or shouldn't. 
to learn English, okay? Look at Salvador, oh my goodness, you're elegant today. Welcome, Salvador. Thank you, you Miss. Excellent, look, Karen is like really like with the hair and Salvador is also really like elegant, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, no, no tenemos que decir para la ocasión, right? Van de party, Miss. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, party, maybe, maybe, maybe too, maybe too. No, I don't think so. Here in, in, my, <laughs> in my town, we have the parties now. Because yeah. they are like at the same time, like in San Miguel. Yeah, so we have parties, a lot of parties uh, happening you here. Should Some... to, you should to invite us. <laughs> you should invite us. Yeah. Oh, you should invite us. Yeah, come here. Come to Sulutan. We are like, we're having parties. For example, I'm teaching the class and I can hear the. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, yeah. amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go. You're and dancing. Do... Yeah, like I'm like. Mm, <laughs> so if you look at me and I'm doing something like that, it's because of the bodies. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're going to go to the breaker rooms and give 10 advices on how to learn English using should or shouldn't, okay?
distracted. Distracted. Get distracted. Get. Distracted. Get distracted. Distraerse. Ahí donde dice put attention is pay attention. Yes, miss. <laughs> ya me lo había dicho y no lo aprendí. Sorry. It's okay. Miss. Yeah. One question. Mm -hmm. If you use should in pass, we're home. Actually, you cannot use should in the past. Podría haber dicho, decir, but, but, tú hubieras hecho tal cosa, in that case, uh -huh. yes. But in that case, we're going to use the present perfect or the past yeah. perfect, like you should have done that or you shouldn't ah, you have, shall done have done that. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Have please. present perfect. Okay. Have done. We partners. Yes. We shouldn't speak other topics in the class. <laughs> we shouldn't okay. speak and we shouldn't. We should speak about the class, not about the weather and not about the Gabby want to take a shower. <laughs> Go up. English is with capital letter at the beginning. English. Yep, capital. Better. Any? No. On time. I don't think it's home words at time. Pongan on time. Bajito. Number nine. Yeah. On time, on time, on, no, on, like O N, on time. On time. Yeah, on time. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. We're gonna go to the last part here. We have um, an exercise to do. It says, you should to write sentences about the policies in your workplace using the works in the parentheses. Okay, we are gonna talk about schedule. Do you know what is the meaning of schedule? Horario. Horario. Exactly, dress code. Yep. No. Dress code was código de vestimenta. Good job. Attend trainings. Capacitaciones. Exactly. Go to capacit yeah, go to workshops and the sleeping work hours, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to tell me four advices re corresponding to these things, okay? So you're gonna talk about the schedule. So you should, you can say, I should respect my schedule. I should be on time to work. I should work um, the time that I'm assigned. 
and I should whatever is with your schedule, right? Dress code. You can say I should wear formal clothes or I should wear safety clothes. I should wear, I don't know, anything that it has to do, be with the dress code, okay? So I want you to tell me one advice per each one, per each one of these things, okay? I'm gonna send you the screenshot so you can do it with your classmates. Okay. And let's go to do this. I think this is the last activity we're going to do. Okay, let's go. Means I have bad connection. Okay, let me help you with that. Gabriela. Okay.
Okay, I know we all want to go Mimir, so I'm going to check that activity tomorrow when we come to this. Okay, let's go. Adán okay. Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Um, Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Jonathan Stanley Pérez López. Yo lo le hubiera puesto para. Gaby, micrófono. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. Present, Miss. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present, Miss. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Verganza. Mario Cristóbal Guindanía. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present, Miss. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Oh, ok. He's having problems. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Present, Miss. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Oh, good night. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.